Good evening. I'm Carolyn Schoenberger from the Chicago Legal Clinic, and I want to welcome you to Immigration Issues. We have a very special guest tonight, Dr. Sandy Goldberg from the Silver Lining Foundation. And we're going to have a little chat about what a Silver Lining Foundation does and how you can make sure that your health, your health is good, your breast health is good. Welcome. You did that very well, Carolyn. Oh, thank you. You did. Thank you. First, I would like to talk to you a little bit about the Chicago Legal Clinic and about the current situation. The Chicago Legal Clinic was founded in 1982 by two brand new lawyers who wanted to bring low-cost legal services to South Chicago. South Chicago at one point had steel mills and people was a thriving community, but the mills closed in the 70s, people lost their jobs, could not go out to eat, could not buy food, and a lot of shops closed. It really became a very desolate area. And these two new lawyers founded the Chicago Legal Clinic to bring legal services to people who needed low-cost legal services. So fast forward to 2017, there is not only an office in South Chicago, there's an office in Pilsen where I work, Austin, downtown, and there are free advice desks at the Daily Center dealing with foreclosure, name changes and any chancery matter, also dealing with child support. In addition to that, there is a free legal advice and referral clinic at Harold Washington College where I'm a professor. And just a quick note about Harold Washington College. It is an affordable university that accepts everyone, has programs, and we're introducing a new paralegal program to that will be fabulous. So let me say a word about the current situation. As people probably know, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program is being phased out. So people whose permits to work their status under the Deferred Action Program ends on March 5th. They must apply to renew by October 5th. If they do not renew, if they do not send in their renewal by October 5th, they will not be able to renew. Anyone whose employment authorization ends after March 5th cannot renew. The program is being sunset. And I know there's a lot of concern about it, Please make sure that if you get advice, you get advice from a qualified lawyer or accredited lay representative. There are workshops all over the place to help people renew. I know that the Southwest uh, uh, Organizing Project has workshops. The Chicago Legal Clinic is having an open house one to six this Monday and the following Monday. The Illinois Coalition for Refugee and Immigrant Rights are having workshops. There are workshops. Please get advice from people who are qualified and are not just going to take your money. For people who are afraid about what's going on, I do share your pain. Please remember, you have rights. You have the right, in most cases, to see a judge. You have the right to bond. You have rights. Please do not let anyone tell you that you do not have rights because you are undocumented. Again, there may be situations where you do not have the right to see a judge, but most people do. So again, I am very proud of my clients. I think they are extremely brave to have come to this country leaving their families. And I am very sad that they are so upset right now. Best advice, don't do anything stupid. Don't drink and drive. Don't have any kind of loud argument. That is the best advice that I can give besides do not sign away your rights and make sure you get good advice. Ahora yo voy a hablar con el, en español. So la clínica legal de Chicago fue establecido en 1982 por dos nuevos abogados porque el sur de Chicago no tenía ninguna oficina no lucrativo. Antes de los 80s, el sur de Chicago tenía las acerías. Y había mucha gente y muchos negocios. Pero cuando se cerraron a los cerrillas, uh, gente ha perdido su trabajo, sus casas, los negocios. Entonces, los dos abogados es establecieron la clínica de Chicago, 1982. Ahora, ahora hay 
oficinas en el sur de Chicago, Pilsen, donde soy, yo trabajo, Austin, al centro, y hay oficinas en las Cortes, Markham también, en Bridge, Bridgeview. El Daily Center tiene tres um, oficinas gratis de la Clínica Legal de Chicago, mantenimiento de los niños, también si quería cambiar su nombre o foreclosure, y hay una clínica legal gratis por los estudiantes de Harold Washington College, por donde yo soy profesora. Entonces, si usted tiene preguntas de inmigración, violencia doméstica, quería un, usted quiere un testamento, bienes raíces, mantenimiento de los niños, hay de llamar a la oficina que empieza a las 9 hasta las 5 de la tarde. Llame por favor a 773-731-1762. 773-731-1762. Llámanos el lunes hasta la viernes de uh, 9 de la mañana hasta las 5 de la tarde. Uh, yo tengo un poco más a decir. Uh, la gente que tiene DACA, si su DACA vence antes uh, en, en del 6 de marzo, el 5 de marzo 2018, hay de renovar su situación, su uh, DACA, antes del 5 de octubre. Si vence después, no se puede renovarlo, renovarlo. Um, y hay muchos talleres por donde puede hacerlo. La Clínica Legal de Chicago tiene un taller este lunes a partir de la 1 hasta las 6. Este lunes, el lunes próximo. Um, también hay uh, clínicas, hay talleres al uh, Southwest Organizing Project. Um, hay clínicas, por favor, pide aviso. Es importante que consigue aviso a un abogado de inmigración o un representante que, tiene, uh, que fue acreditado por inmigración. So, por ejemplo, Latinos Progresando tiene un, un programa fantástico. So, Polish American Association, uh, Chicago Irish Immigrant Support, estas agencias pueden darle ayuda también. So, mi aviso por la gente en documentado o de DACA, si está agarrado por inmigración, tiene, la mayor parte de ustedes tiene derecho a ver un abogado, ver un juez, no firma nada, ha uh, renunciado a sus derechos, es muy importante. Tiene derecho de pedir por una fianza, uh, pero lo más importante consigue aviso de alguien que es especialista en esto y no haga nada tonto. Ok, so, lo siento tanto que tenemos que vivir en este momento. Es un honor de hablar con mis clientes. Yo tengo mucho respeto por ellos porque creí, creí en la suena americana. Gracias. So, if you have a problem, domestic violence, um, need a will, social security, disability, immigration, please call the number on the screen, 773-731-1760, Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. That went on a little bit too long, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm very happy that you have consented to join me this evening. It is my pleasure, as always. Well, Thank you. So let's talk about a Silver Lining Foundation. What is, can you tell us about a Silver Lining Foundation? What do you do? Because you are the life of it, the founder, you are the person, you really are, you're the cheerleader. Just keep talking, Carol, and I just love this. They're cheerleader. I just love this. So what do you do? Uh, what a Silver Lining Foundation does, and thank you so much for having me here. A Silver Lining Foundation was started actually as a result of my being diagnosed with breast cancer. And what we do, given that we have five programs now, starting at my husband's and my kitchen table, is that we provide resource information, education, outreach services, free breast health testing, the entire spectrum of breast health testing, for uninsured and underinsured individuals at 15 partner hospitals. We have a great education program for young people, Carolyn. And I think that this dovetails very much with what, with what you talk about here at the show. Because many times the young people 
are the messengers in communities, in immigrant communities. So what we do with our teen program, our young persons program, is that we talk about individuals advocating for their own health, learning how to do a proper breast self-examination as an example, knowing what questions to ask, knowing that it is all right to ask questions. And certainly we want young people to gather this information for themselves, but also to share it in their homes and communities. Because many times in immigrant communities, the young people are the voices of the family. And that has worked out very well. So a question, um, do you consider helping people who perhaps are not documented? The deferred action people, perhaps parents who brought children in? That's a great question and the answer is yes, we help everybody. As I often That's say wonderful. that the only documentation that anybody needs in order to get breast health testing is a piece of paper from a Silver Lining Foundation, our voucher, that's all. What we don't ask, and I think this is very important to those who are watching the show, we do not ask about immigration status. To be perfectly frank, we don't care. Our theory is everybody has two breasts, everybody is entitled to get them tested, everybody is entitled to have the ease of mind to know that at least in that portion of their life and where access to health is concerned, that we are here for you. And that is a very significant point, I think, in a society today, as you were talking about, that people are so extraordinarily concerned with even many times going out of their home. Yes, and that is totally tragic. In any event, it is wonderful that you have these programs. Mm -hmm. How would someone start the process of entering your program? How well, would they do that? Great question again. You're acing it tonight. Well, I want you I to know that. I'm a good teacher. Well, thank, thank you. you very much. All right. If you need a mammogram, I am extending this invitation to everyone who is watching the show. I ask you to share this information with everyone you know. If you need access to breast health testing, all you need to do is pick up the phone and call us at a Silver Lining Foundation. I will give you the number and then I will tell you, go ahead, you can run off and get a piece of paper as well to write it down. The number is 312-345-1322. I'll repeat it again, 312-345-1322. If you have access to a computer, all you need to do is Google us at A Silver Lining Foundation. It's the world's longest address, mm -hmm. A Silver Lining Foundation dot O R G. Why don't I show your website? That's a great idea. Okay, so that's the website of the Chicago Legal, Legal Clinic. Clinic. Lovely, lovely so website. So you can see the I number and, and we certainly are always looking for volunteers. So here is the website of a Silver Lining Foundation, and who so, are these wonderful women over here? Well, for those of you looking at your screen now, you will see two women. You will see one with dark hair. That used to be me. You will see one with, as I call, platinum hair. That is my mother, may she rest in peace. My hair now mimics hers. Everything we do at a Silver Lining Foundation is based on her philosophy. We are all family and we have to help each other through the tough times. Because as you know, Carolyn, I am the child of immigrants. Both of my parents came here from Europe. My mother as a young child and my father to escape the war, Second World War. And it was very interesting to be the child of immigrants. And you don't forget that. What I do remember most of all, though, is the concern for others. And that I see very much in the communities that we serve. We serve people, Latina community, in the, in the Spanish-speaking community, Polish, Arabic, Asian, Chinese, Korean, we don't care. But what I do see is a concern for others, a concern to make sure that those who are in similar circumstances are being taken care of in the way that we all should be taken care of. And, and that's really what we do. As I said, we started the Silver Lining Foundation. My husband is the co-founder. We started the Silver Lining Foundation after I had been diagnosed with breast cancer. And I learned, having been blessed with great insurance, that I was the exception. 
and we decided to start a Silver Lining Foundation in order to deal initially with education and resource information and expand it to another program and then another and another and another. But the basis of what we do and the basis of really, I think the heart and soul of what we do is our free breast health testing program. And we fund, as you know, Carolyn, everything. We fund everything from a screening mammogram, which if you're not familiar with, that's the walk in the door mammogram. And if needed, everything up the food chain to assure it, that someone is negative, hopefully does not have breast cancer. But if they do, and this is what is important, all of our 15 hospital partners will not say, well, you have breast cancer, now you can go someplace else. That's not the case. Our hospitals all circle wagons around those individuals who are diagnosed, and everyone is taken care of for free. And that is the important thing, for free. No one has to worry about a bill because there isn't going to be one. That is fabulous. And, uh can you give us an example of some of the hospitals that are your partner hospitals? Now remember, Carolyn, that I have platinum hair, and we are at the point now that we have 15 partner hospitals, but I will give you a, a example of a few of them because at this point, and it is in a way a blessing that we have so many that sometimes mm -hmm. I don't remember them all. Oh. At Christ, Advocate Christ Hospital, which is on the southwest side in Chicago, Advocate Illinois Masonic, the University of Illinois Medical Center, they call it UI Health now, Swedish Covenant on the north side, Presence St. Francis Hospital in Evans, Evanston, Presence Holy Family in Des Plaines, Presence St. Joseph, which is in Elgin, in which I know there is a very, very large Spanish-speaking yes, community, is. South Shore Hospital, West Suburban in Oak Park River Forest, and I know that I am forgetting Rockford. Many. Rockford, right. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, Rock that was a great coup. Well, yes. That was. Mercy Health in Rockford and Swedish American in, <coughs> excuse me, in Rockford. Mount Sinai Hospital, Holy Cross, and St. Anthony. So, you see, our, our hospitals, if someone comes in, and as you were talking about with either immigration issues, DACA, whatever the circumstance happens to be, um, our hospitals are accustomed and welcoming and their ability to be able to deal with all backgrounds. Because as my mother used to say, we're all family and we must help each other through the tough times. And all Silver Lining Partner Hospitals are inculcated, are all agree with that philosophy. No one is ever going to feel like a second class citizen because you are not. The important thing is to advocate for yourself. And you know, Carolyn, one of the things that we were talking about beforehand, and I think it happens many times in immigrant communities, is that there are certain myths around the aspect of getting a mammogram. What and, are some of the myths? Well, you know what I hear from people? Um, you know, maybe I've heard that you can get breast cancer from using deodorant. The answer is no. From hair dye. The answer is no. There isn't enough scientific support there. Um, underwire bras. No. Cell phones in a pocket next to a breast. Again, not enough scientific information. And then I get the question, and we hear all the time, if I am diagnosed, I will leave this earth. No. Early diagnosis, and again, is the most crucial thing about identification of breast cancer and a long, healthy, normal life. In terms of early diagnosis, something like 97 plus percent of women who are diagnosed, early diagnosed, will go on to live a normal lifespan. But you must, and I repeat, must gain access to testing. And again, this is where we come in at a Silver Lining Foundation. So there's been a lot in the news about some places saying you should start having mammograms at age 40 unless there's some history in the family and you don't have to do it every year. What is your best advice? Because I'm somewhat dubious with some of the things that I read about. You should be dubious, and I'm glad that you brought that up. Depending upon what you listen to, and this is why it's so important to be an informed consumer, is in some cases we'll hear that women should be now di um, get their first mammogram at age 50. Definitely not. 40 is really the best time to start. If you've had no history, if your family has had no history. As an example, let me clarify that. Say someone in your family, a, a relative on either mother or father's side, was diagnosed at age 45. 
you should get your first breast health testing, your first mammogram, 10 years younger than when they were diagnosed. So that means your first breast health testing should be at age 35. I also feel what is extremely important, and, and we've heard, oh, breast self-examination doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You know your body. You know if there are any changes in your body, and it is extraordinarily important. You don't have to do it every day. I would say for women that are still experiencing a menstrual cycle, usually 10 to 15 days after the end of your menstrual cycle, for those of you who are somewhat older, your menstrual cycle has ceased, every couple of months, very, very important. Check your body. You know your body. That's the most important thing. But don't feel that you are not worthy of getting access to breast health testing. You are as worthy as anyone else. And again, I would suggest very strongly that you call us at a Silver Lining Foundation, 312-345-1322. And I'm going to show your website again. You are. Can Thanks. I show the home page, or would you prefer not to? You can show whatever it is you would like to show. OK, because this doesn't have. No, it doesn't have the number, and that one probably doesn't have the number on the top of it either. Well, it's not moving. So no, it's well. not moving. Okay. Technologically, <laughs> we are not the best. Oh, there we, we are. There we ah. are. So let me scroll down. Yeah, now the reason that you are seeing on that website, Every Life Matters, because we are just about to start our uh, have our gala in a couple of weeks from now, and the proceeds from our gala do support our all of our programs. You're seeing our mission. You're seeing our vision. And Carolyn, we're just going to say the number again. What do you think? Okay. All right. 312-345-1322. Or you can find us on the internet at asilverliningfoundation.org. Or just Google Free Mammograms Chicago, and our name will come up. But in addition to the mammograms, we just have a few more minutes. You also have education of how we to do. do a bright. What kind of other services does the Silver Lining Foundation offer? We have a great free breast program, breast education program. We call that Keep Abreast. We started off presenting only to young women. We now present to adults. We present to young, to mothers and daughters. We also have a program that is designed for the unique needs of individuals who have been diagnosed with breast cancer. Those are, it's our survivorship program. We call it Survive to Thrive. What we also have, which is extremely important in our outreach and resource information program, is that if you have questions about particular circumstances, dealing with breast cancer or not, we can direct you to an organization who can answer the questions. And also, if you forget all the numbers that I've told you tonight, all you need to do is pick up the phone and call 311 Chicago City Services. Say you need a mammogram and you will be directed to us. Well, this is fabulous. And you have people who can go out to communities and, and talk we to do. communities. We do. Um, also Spanish speaking. Definitely Spanish speaking. And for those of you that require our information when you call us in Spanish, please call between the hours of 9 and 5. And our wonderful Guadalupe, who has been with us since she was an 18-year-old intern, mm -hmm. will be very, very glad to help you. Mi español es muy mal. Lo mío también. In any event, but I think you do well. Um, wonderful opportunities. Uh, we had the website up, a silverliningfoundation.org, or call the number again. 312-345-1322. And the one thing I want to stress, which is what Carolyn talks about all the time, everyone is deserving of attention and help. And I think that is a great message. And I think the other message is, that people are not alone, that people care. And Sandy, you care, and I thank you for doing that. And right back at you, Carolyn. Thank you. And again, if you have legal issues, please call 773-731-1762, Monday through Friday between 9 and 5. We also have a website, which I've mentioned. So again, I hope you do not have legal issues, but if you do, Please give us a call. We are very happy to try to help you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next month. Immigration issues. Be safe. Be careful. Thank you.